You attach your Parker Center ID to your suit. You press the button to call the elevator. You select the third floor as your destination. You take a 3.14 follow-up report form out of your desk drawer. You fill out follow-up report form 3.14 with information concerning found arm bone. Here you go, Hal. Sure, Junior. You call the elevator. You select the basement as your destination. Hello, detective. How can I help you? Hello, Chester. Do you have a preliminary on Jane Doe 1201K's body fluids? Nothing's back yet, Carrie. We sent samples out to Quantico. Whatever we're dealing with, it's lethal. Unknown and lethal. See you later, Detective Carrie. Pressing the button, you call the elevator. You select the lobby as your destination. Miss Moore, what can you tell us about the latest victims in what's being termed this city's most gruesome murder spree? Me? Well, I, uh, nothing really. Am I going to be on TV? Miss Moore, is it true that all the victims have been tortured, mutilated? Well, they're... they're... not all there, um... Uh... Miss Moore, is it true that Officer Rene Garcia and the latest male victim and unidentified John Doe were both found not only tortured, but naked? Uh, well, yes. I mean, well, no. You see, is that camera on? 
So, Miss Moore, are you confirming that John Doe was not entirely nude, that he was found with a pair of nylons on his person? Is it true the nylons were wrapped around his neck? How'd you know that? So you are confirming this information. Detective Carey, can you comment on the nylons wrapped around the neck of the victim? I have nothing to say to you, Bilden, nor does Miss Moore. Hi, Detective Carey. Cherry, I'm taking you home. Bilden, you muck up my investigation and I'll have your job. Come on, Sherry. Detective Carey, the public has a right to know. It's their safety at stake. Detective Carey... In the wake of this city's worst nightmare, five people, including two Los Angeles police officers, have been found mutilated and murdered. And though city officials and the LAPD deny there is reason to panic, the citizens of Los Angeles feel quite differently. Gun sales are up, and security companies are deluged with requests for home alarm systems. Factors contributing to the urgency and concern by LA residents are the randomness and violence of these murders. Earlier today, I spoke with Sherry Moore, an L.A. County Coroner's employee, who confirmed one element of this killing spree. Evidence found in the latest male victim indicates that the murders might have been committed by a woman. If true, then this is the first case in the history of Los Angeles where a female serial killer has held the city in her grip. I'm Christy Bilden, reporting for KKAT.